Boom! In this video, I'm going to share with you my views on Plastic Press and WordPress and which way you should choose to go. Let's dive straight in. Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell so that you don't miss out new content that I'll be pushing out in the next days. In my last video, I actually shared on which website building software to use and there I shared my views on a number of them and I chose WordPress. And so I realized that a number of people were actually asking about the difference or the reasons why one should actually go for WordPress other than Classic Press or for Classic Press other than WordPress. And in this video, I'm going to share my views on which way you should go. Basically, WordPress is a content man management system. At the same time, Classic Press is a content management system. WordPress has been in existence for now over 10 years and it has been oh and it is still the leading website building software. It is open source and free to use. WordPress is now powering over 32% of websites on the internet. But now the thing comes in there like every after a period of time there are updates and upgrades from WordPress the repository and how the whole software works so these updates are contributed they are put in by contributors and a very big supportive community that WordPress has and so over and over a time it keeps on evolving and becoming better and better and better. So it started from version 1, version 2, version 3, version 4, and now we are at version 5. So, in these different versions, WordPress has been changing a couple of things, you know, making it better, secure, and more versatile, and, you know, helping out a number of people who are using the platform. So this is now where it all started from and how Classic Press came into existence. So, long story short, on the, on the latest major version of WordPress that was released, which is 5.0, that is where Classic Press emerged. So in that latest version, or the recent major version of WordPress, WordPress released a very big change and this change is called Gutenberg. Gutenberg is the new block editing feature in the latest version of WordPress that was released in 5.0 and this Gutenberg editor replaces the tiny MCE editor which was um, a what you see what you get editor and it replaces that editor with the blocks. So now you can literally uh, make a couple of things, change here and change everything, build pages, build blogs, uh, blog posts using the Gutenberg editor with the blogs. But in the old editor or the tiny MCE editor, you could basically write everything, uh, add widgets and stuff like that, have things embedded within the editor itself. But now, with Gutenberg, there is actually a a learning curve that you have in order to use this new editor and with that that is where classic press now comes in classic press is now is basically a fork of wordpress before 5.0 shipped out and classic press is saying it will continue with the wordpress that we know from 4.9 that it, it wants to turn the WordPress before 5.0 to be powerful, versatile, and predictable. And it's looking at making it a business-focused CMS. Of course, they say it's a really uh, a, a big journey from converting a blog-focused CMS into a business-focused CMS, that that's, but that's where Classic Press is actually looking up to. 
This is now where question comes into place. Which way should I go? The number one fact is Classic Press and WordPress are all CMSs. They're content management softwares. They are free for use. They are a contributor-based platform. They are all under the general public license and those are all things they share. But now the difference is it's an editor. Classic Press is continuing with a tiny MCE and WordPress is starting up the journey with Gutenberg. Of course I've tested Gutenberg but there are things you have to learn. It's, it's as an individual I found it a bit needing that the user experience of sometimes I try to find things and I can't locate them and like over like I know over a period of time if I'm using this you know editor I'll get used to a number of things but it is not as the tiny MCE where it was easy and easy to navigate around things simple and nothing is complicated you don't have to you know look up things search up things so that you see or achieve what you want to do so the point is for someone starting out which way should they go now knowing that classic press and wordpress before 5.0 they are the same I will leave the answer to you. If you want to try out the new blog editor, you can try out WordPress 5.0, you know, and above. But if you want some, but if you are someone who wants to continue using the classic editor, of course there is a classic editing plugin in the WordPress repository, but that plugin, I believe it won't stay for long. So the way to go is to go classic press and Start your journey from there using the tiny MCE editor. And one thing I have to mention is that all themes that are in WordPress, all plugins that are in WordPress.org, they are all compatible with Classic Press. Since now, Classic Press is also developing a community, contributors, developers, and teams. It is also looking at a way to build this platform to be bigger and better. And also, if you are a developer looking at joining a community where you, it will be easy and uh, more democratic, I give in my thoughts that you can join the Classic Press team, uh, the contributing team, because now it's a little bit not too hyped, it's, it's, that it's not yet having a lot of contributors. If you are looking at growing as a developer in a more democratic environment that is open you could go classic press and it's if you're also looking at contributing in terms of software code support and stuff like that classic press is the way to go and if you have prior experience of writing software for wordpress or writing plugins themes add-ons and stuff like that then classic press could be an exciting opportunity. Though its community hasn't yet grown, but the mere fact that WordPress is powering 32% of websites of the internet and those websites are compatible already with Classic Press, I believe Classic Press's community is going to grow bigger and better. Question of the day. What are your final thoughts on Classic Press and WordPress? And which way would you go? Which way would you advise to someone starting out there? My side is it's upon the user's experience and how they want to use the platform. If you want to look at connecting with a community that is going to Focus on building this platform, the CMS for business. Classic Press is the way to go, more democratic. Teams are there and trying to do the best that they can in, in the slightest time possible. And if you are into 
you know business and uh, you just want to run your platform easily simply with a big support community and uh, you, you you have a, a variety of options you know then wordpress.org is the way to go because they have a big repository number of contributors and everything is already kind of in place the point to note is that they are all uh, content management system classic press is basically a fork of wordpress before Gutenberg came in and Classic Press is having a new, uh, it, it's a new platform that is trying now to get different contributors, you know, marketers, developers, you know, and a number of other people into the community. I wish you guys a good time building your online presence.